Hi, Vino here. Here we're going to discuss the manifestation of inversion, as it was established within each part and being of and as this manifested existence. And in that, the manifested stand of and as self-responsibility. The inversion process was done and is manifested to invert everything of each part and being within as and of this manifested existence to manifest absolute self-responsibility through and as this inversion. That each part being within this existence stand equal and one within and as the point of and as self-responsibility towards self and all the self within as and of this existence. Thus, inversion equals self-responsibility. Now, what does this process and manifestation of inversion of each part and being within as and of this existence practically mean in relation to one's own individual self-process and the process of existence as a whole? Let's start with how existence functioned with all parts and beings before the manifestation and process of inversion was placed. Uh, to so be able to more practically see why and how we, as all, have in fact manifested this point of inversion as an inevitability of facing our own manifested consequence of our own creations from and of ourselves. Let's start with the soul construct and reincarnation, presented as the illusion of karma that did in fact not exist within the starting point of being accountable for one's actions within thought, word, and deed, but merely served as a conscience for the minds of those who believe or believed in a higher power, where karma was defined within and in relation to a higher power within existence that one will have to answer to in relation to who one is and how one lives so as to regulate moral codes of conduct within this world and reality through the minds of human beings. So the thought of and belief in karma was more of a mind-constructed conscience to control the human through behavior than an actuality that functioned or existed within reality. Let's have a look at how and why. The soul construct was the system, the mechanism through and as which beings pre-programmed life designs were designed, manifested into and as a mind consciousness system that they'd live out within the unified consciousness field that permeated and infiltrated this world of reality. So here in itself, from the get-go already showing how karma in fact could not and did not exist as everything was predetermined through within and as pre-programming of and as the mind consciousness system designed from and through the soul construct. So each being, whether on earth or in heaven, was in fact but a power source for A in the system within themselves and this existence. As the soul construct and reincarnation process connected heaven and earth, wherein beings from heaven and earth were enslaved into and as. Everything was regulated, checked, predetermined and preordained within and as beings' life designs, whether on earth or in heaven. Everything that each being experienced as themselves, as their life that they had and or the position that they were placed within and as this existence was in fact pre-programmed. So let us have a closer look at the existence of the soul construct and reincarnation within the particular specific context of and as this discussion in relation to how karma never in fact existed due to and because of the existence of and as the mind consciousness system in and as which everything and all of self was pre-programmed for and as self and in that how no one in fact stood accountable for and as their actions was in thought word and deed and of course the manifest consequence each one now will face as self for having accepted and allowed such abdication of responsibility to a system. Three parts of an existential system regulated and controlled the movement and positioning of beings within and between heaven and earth that manifested a closed system within and as which beings were enslaved 
to ensure the continued controlled existence of heaven and earth and the beings within it. These three parts were the unified consciousness field, the soul construct, and the reincarnation process. And it was the existence of an enslavement into and as these three parts that created the outflow consequence of having no accountability of and for one's actions within thought, word, and deed. And this goes for all parts, beings within as and of this existence in relation to accountability. So the unified consciousness field uh, was the interdimensional physical network that permeated and infiltrated this entire world or reality, uh, interconnecting all human beings' unconscious mind to manifest and create a closed manifested system in and as which all human beings' mind consciousness systems was unified, thus referred to as the unified consciousness field as the interconnection between and of all the unconscious minds integrated all human beings consciousnesses into and as one and so interconnected them within and as the field that was structurally manifested as grid line networks that permeated and infiltrated this entire and total physical world or reality. So this unified consciousness field functioned as the structural manifested domain within and as which human beings would live out their pre-programmed lives. At the moment of birth, their life design, already programmed in and as their mind consciousness system, would imprint, upload, infiltrate, permeate the grid line networks of and as the unified consciousness field. And so they'd literally walk into a predetermined life where each human being would be positioned and placed uh, within and on a cross point of the grid lines. And so human beings, individual lives and worlds would be controlled as and with heaven's security forces would ensure each being remain within and on their point within uh, the grid lines, living out their life within their world. I mean, this is also how and why each human being has become so isolated and closed off from the world as a whole, as human beings now are secluded internally and externally to themselves and their life and their world only. And with regards to the pre-programming of human beings' life design within the unified consciousness field of and as this world, this was done in heaven the moment before entering into this reality with an already designed and programmed mind consciousness system. And this is where the soul comes in. The soul was a mechanism <clears throat> forming part of the mind consciousness system that kept record of and as one's functioning through one's mind consciousness system within as and during one's pre-programmed life design. The soul would, throughout one's life design experience in this world within the unified consciousness field, build up a library of knowledge and information of all of self as mind within, during and throughout one's life design and was the manifestation or system from and through which one's next life through and as a mind consciousness system would be programmed, designed and manifested and this is where reincarnation comes in. So the soul construct was basically the copying and duplication of and as one's total mind consciousness system, recording and collecting everything of and as self within and during one's existence on earth in the system of mind and consciousness within and without. Once one leaves the unified consciousness field as Earth after walking the completion of one's pre-programmed life design as imprinted, uploaded within the unified consciousness field, one exit the game of enslavement and enter heaven where the fate of your continuation within existence of heaven and or Earth will be decided upon based on the data retrieved from and of your soul. The data collection from and of the soul construct was also stored within the library of souls, referred to as the Akashic records, 
where the records of all beings' lives on Earth as their pre-programmed life designs, often as manifested mind consciousness system, were kept. And so a history was kept of each being's lives on Earth and mind consciousness systems they lived out. To, in so doing, always keep beings in line within particular specific life designs, playing out the same life story over and over and over again without remembering, which is, in essence, the manifested process of an as reincarnation. Reincarnation as the recycling of beings into and as particular specific lives on earth over and over and over again, deliberately maintained within and as particular specific positions on earth. So the majority of human beings on earth would be positioned within the unified consciousness field of this earth and play out the exact same life experience or design, life after life after life. And so all beings were enslaved and controlled in and as this existence in movement between heaven and earth through the soul construct and reincarnation within the unified consciousness field. So here some overview background on how each human being's life on this earth was in fact pre-programmed and preordained through within and as the mind consciousness system, soul construct and the unified consciousness field with reincarnation. Now that we have the basic <clears throat> excuse me, now that we have the basic platform layout of how existence function between heaven and earth in relation to each being that participated within this existential closed system of reincarnation, the soul construct and the unified consciousness field of and as earth. Let us have a look now at this point of karma within it all. Obviously, an actual play out of an as karma did not exist during this time of pre-programmed life designs. Because the purpose of a human life was from a personal perspective to enslave and from an existential perspective to control. The purpose of life was to remain in <clears throat> to remain enslaved and controlled for the functioning continuation of the existential system within heaven and earth for a handful of beings to exercise their will and power over and of all and be gods. Any higher or greater meaning to a human being's life was but a fantasy construct within a human being's mind, giving hope as the carrot dangling in front of the donkey's eyes to keep on walking and living in acceptance and allowance of who self is and how self live within the context of self and this world of reality. But never really getting it, becoming or experiencing this higher or greater purpose or meaning to an as life. Just as the donkey with the carrot, human beings look straight into hope, missing the total physical reality of existence that is right here with and within you. And so human beings became lost within themselves in their own world, looking straight into hope, a hope that never in fact really existed. And the real reality that is and always has been here, a breath away, has been missed entirely and completely. Interesting. So with this all, or what does all in fact practically mean is that in the past, no one faced their own creation as manifested consequence. No one was made accountable for any of their actions within thought, word and deed. No matter who you were, what you did, within thought, word and deed, Within and during your lives, you simply live out your pre-programmed life design as mind consciousness system, pit stop in heaven to reassess or evaluate your lives through the soul construct within the Akashic records, program a mind consciousness system with a pre-programmed life design, return to another similar or exact same life design, re-upload and imprint into and as the unified consciousness field, Everything regulated, directed, and controlled. 
So karma in terms of life lessons, purpose and meaning of life, paying for your previous lives, mistakes, failures, etc. All but an illusion, a mere construct within and part of the mind consciousness system, forming part of human beings consciousness to serve as a conscience in and as the attempt to keep human beings behavior in this world relatively stable through and as the construct of morality. And that was the existence of an as karma in this world in relation to how far taking responsibility for one's actions in thought, word and deed had gone. Which is no wonder why and how this world has become what it is today, as literally everyone's manifested consequence has been channeled into and manifested as the current existence of and as this world as a whole. This is also the obvious proof that karma was never in fact real or here, because no one ever learnt anything, only continued creating manifested consequence. I mean, if karma was in fact a reality that in fact changed beings eternally from their past mistakes, failures, deceptions, abuses, etc., then common sense would be that this world should have been a whole other story than what it's telling us right now, which is that karma was an illusion.